I'm Andrew Phil Lee, and I play support for Echo Fox Academy. So I was born in uh, New York, Queens, New York, um, particularly Fresh Meadows. I didn't live in the city. It was more so, um, it was like 30 minute, it was a 30 minute drive outside the city. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an okay area. I wouldn't say it's like really nice, just okay, I guess. Uh, I, do have, I do have two siblings. Uh, my brother, he's I believe five years younger. And then my sister is about one and a half years older than me. I know my parents definitely wanted me to do well in school. Uh, they wanted me to have like a normal life, uh, go to college and stuff. Uh, like I don't think they would have ever expected me to play video games. I think up until eighth grade, uh, I was going to after school, and yeah, like it was. I, I believe that's that's like when it all started. Like when I wanted to like play video games, I used to hang out with like a group of friends. Uh, and they introduced me to League of Legends like, yo, Andrew, come play League of Legends with us. it's really fun. It's, it's this like new, new like PvP game, like everyone's playing it. So uh, I, I, I started playing it because of them and then uh, from there, like I've just been playing League ever since. I believe the very first team was Supernova. They asked me to like play midling for them. That was my first experience as an amateur player. And then I joined another team called Team Checkpoint. It was basically all of COG. It was, uh, it was Fallen Bad in the top lane. It was Omar God in the jungle, uh, Osama in the bot lane. And then I would play mid lane at the time for them. And then uh, I believe it was Vulcan support. After we were doing like pretty good in like scrims and just like all those online tourneys, we decided to uh, play in a bigger tourney called Dreamhack. And that was like basically one of the biggest tourneys that you could play as an amateur at the time. I just remember like we had an insane run. Like we played like 16 hours the first day. 16 hours of tourneys, um, we were really tired. We, we slept like four hours and then we went into our finals and semis for the next day and then we won, we won DreamHack from there. Um, the team disbanded because like there was issues with the org. I believe like a month or two later, uh, like news came out for Scouting Grounds and everyone on the ladder was like super hyped. Just before Scouting Grounds was announced, I realized that like mid lane wasn't like it wasn't that fun to me. The way I viewed mid lane at the time was you just push the wave as hard as you can and then you just look for roams. And that was just like, it was really repetitive. It was just super boring to me. So from there, like I switched from mid lane to, su to support. And then that's, that's where my whole career started, I guess. Uh, I got into scouting grounds. Uh, I believe I finished second, second in scouting grounds against Team Cloud or Ocean. I believe it's Ocean. And then uh, from there, I got picked up by COG, signed for two years. So when I first joined COG, I just remember like it was pretty much the, f the first month there, like everything was still like surreal to me. COG didn't buy a team or didn't buy a spot for Challenger Series. And they wanted us to work our way through open qualifiers. We were doing really good in scrims. I believe we had like a close to 90% win rate. Yeah, when it came to the actual games, like, um, you know, we just didn't like play as well. Uh, we got overconfident in our picks and bans. And then we lost, I believe, the second or third round then out of like five. So last split, uh, we basically had like a whole new roster. We had a new coach, new jungler. Um, it was basically like a new team environment for us. We definitely looked a lot better compared to our previous splits on COG. And with that roster, like we got to finals of it. So yeah, I would say like that was definitely like proof that like it was definitely a better roster. And Sven Skarin are the only thing that stand in between CLG and the Nexus. He runs for the hills. The teleport for Tuesday comes in to show off as they must be feeling amazing after this first game run. Eyes on the Nexus, the damage is in. CLG Academy takes game one. I decided for, uh, for my own self-improvement that um, if I join another org, like experience pretty much a whole new like environment, uh, it'd just be better for me, like both as a person, as a player. So I decided to like part ways with uh, COG. I was looking for a team. Uh, Echo Fox, Echo Fox was like, "Yo, Phil, you want to play support for us?" And then 
I decided to join Echo Fox, and when a whole new, like, brand new team forms, it's like, uh, it can be shaky. Like, it's, it's definitely like a little coin flip, because like, you don't know if like, the players will like, uh, like, will we'll work well together. Like, maybe there's gonna be like a clash in like mindset, but there wasn't really any of that, so I thought that was good. long-term goal would be uh, getting into Worlds and doing well there. Um, I would say that's a bit more ambitious because, you know, Worlds, like, you're playing against, like, the best players in the world, uh, the best teams, so that is a bit more far off, but, I mean, ho hopefully, like, I'll get there sometime soon. I feel like I could keep playing for a while. Um, I know, I know for a fact, I know like I definitely want to like eventually go back to school because I was considering that at one point because like I do, uh, I definitely want to like learn other stuff and just get better at like other stuff. So yeah, um, I'm still not, still not certain on like what I want to do after my career.